me. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Great, have a day. Oh, man. Oh, God. Huh. Whoa. Man. <laughs> I'm hearing him all the time. I I was on the phone oh. <laughs> He's been going from house to house surprising everybody. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you son of a gun. I don't yeah, worry about I know. you all day. Yeah. 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 Shannon. You. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't call me and I said, oh, God. Uh, maybe you'll send me an email. <laughs> 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 yeah, my heart's... <laughs> Trying to avoid being seen by his wife and daughter, Staff Sergeant Brett Randall sneaks into the Civic Theater to surprise his family. It actually means so much to me because I've missed many holidays w away from my family. Hiding out in the audio booth, Randall watches his four-year-old daughter, Stephanie, performing in a holiday dance recital. Then, after her performance, he pays for her. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. Seconds later, <laughs> Randall's wife, Jennifer, buried herself in his arms. Hi, baby. <laughs> the crowd gave this surprise reunion a standing ovation. Thank you guys. We sorry for interrupting. <laughs> Randall's been away for more than six months. He's a specialized EMT that's been stationed in Afghanistan. It's definitely great to have him home for Christmas. You're welcome. She saw me and it, and it clicked. You could see the look on her face and just lit me up inside. It, it felt like magic. A holiday surprise this military family will never forget. Ew! <laughs> Ew! Thanks, kiddo. Hi, Daddy. I love you. I miss you. And I love you very much. Do you want to go show Daddy the office? Yes. Go show him your new school? Mm -hmm. All right, go. Do you want to see my new school? No, go this way. Go this way. You got anything else to tell Daddy? I love you very, 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 very much. And I miss you. What grade are you in? Kindergarten. Go over there. Let's show them the flowers and the blooms. Go show them the flowers and the blooms? Yeah. Right. It's really pretty inside that building. It's really pretty in there? Mommy, I think you need to look behind you. <laughs> What's behind me? Daddy was here? No. No? Are you happy? <laughs> well, I didn't cry when I picked you up, but now I'm crying. All right, say bye. I think you need to look behind you. I know. 
An early Christmas surprise tonight for a Inland Empire family. They've been without their father for the past several months as he was serving overseas. This past week, his wife sent us a message on our ABC7 Facebook page to tell us her husband was coming home. It's been a busy weekend for Santa Claus at the promenade in Temecula. While most children are asking for bicycles and Barbies, six-year-old Madison Sherman's wish is a bit different. Her father, First Class Petty Officer Ron Sherman, has been deployed in Afghanistan for the past six months serving in the U.S. Navy. Her one wish for Santa Claus was for her father to return home for the holidays. The surprise reunion caught on camera. I was actually supposed to come home right now, but I just didn't tell anybody. I told him I was coming home at the end of the month. So we kind of misled my kids a little bit. Incredible. It's a miracle. Angela Sherman kept her husband's homecoming a secret from most everyone, including their 20-year-old daughter, Jordan. It feels amazing. I've missed him a lot, and it's really good that he's home now. It's a miracle. Okay, get your name? This was Petty Officer Sherman's second deployment. He first served in Iraq in 2010. Between all the hugs and kisses, Angela Sherman said it just means a lot to have him back. He's going to be safe. Safe with us for Christmas. And now Sherman and his family live in Winchester. He is stationed at Port Wainimi. I spoke to him over the phone. He said that they plan to hit up Disneyland to celebrate. <laughs> you got a collar. Silver. Here she comes. Hi. Hi. Who's that, Silver? Hi. Who's that? Who's that, Fuzzy? Oh my goodness. Who is that? Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. You're wet. Oh. Hi, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She was lightning. Boy. So boy. 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 I told you she would remember you. Oh, put your ears up. Put your ears up. Put your, oh, I know. I missed you too. I missed you too. Gotta close that all the way. Here she comes. Here she comes. Yes. Great girl, Silver. Sit. Oh, she's crying. Sit. Sit. Shake. Oh, girl, you're so pretty, huh? Aww. Yeah, so pretty. Babe, I haven't heard her cry like that before. <laughs> oh, yes, you have. Okay, go open your present now. Whoa, whoa. Please. Right now? Yeah. I just want to give you my gifts. Well, I'm first. I know, Silver. She's just I know. Fun. She's excited. Yeah. I don't want to do this yet. Please. Get Please, just do it real quick for me. All you could do is rip it open. Sit. 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 <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What's that? Don't open that one. That one's not for me. It's too David. That's from your sister. I know, Silver. Are you excited? <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> it's one of those. <laughs> Keep opening. Wow, Brittany. Look inside. Oh, okay. It's just, oh, it's that box. Oh. <laughs> There's a little, I think a little thing right there. That black part. There you go. It's another memory card for your new camera! That you're using right now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a trickster, huh? Surprise! Did she see you? Here she comes.
Nick, you had a car to see you. We've uh, we've known for weeks now, Mom. This guy's got to talk to you. Just would you come and see, please? kids um, at the uh, militarykids.org um, celebration of uh, military children. Petty Officer First Class Intelligence Specialist Christopher Karnbach is currently deployed to Cuba, scheduled to return home at the end of this month. He and his wife Anne Marie are both music teachers. Their children, nine-year-old Christopher and seven-year-old Abigail, both received grants for martial arts during this deployment. What do you th how do you think they're going to react? Uh, they're going to freak. <laughs> They are, I, I, I mean, they're going to be completely surprised. Right, so, I guess we're going to go get ready. Yeah. Skids, come on up. We have a commitment to support our families whenever and wherever they need it in any component. So it's great to be with you here today, General. Thank you much. Okay, kids. What do I need to do? <laughs> well, we got two kids and two boards. I think we need one more volunteer. The Admiral's brave enough. Let's look for one more person that uh, might volunteer. Somebody brave who's not afraid of splinters. How about you, sir? There's our volunteer right there. This has been a, a great opportunity for my children, and I'm sure as well as the other children, to, to give them something else to think about rather than their parent that's deployed downrange, whether it's um, Afghanistan or uh, Guantanamo Bay, all the various places they've been sent to. 